It's the Riot Podcast. This is the Thursday, April 27th edition. So, uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Welcome to the podcast. Isaiah, anything on your mind? You know, it's Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you excited for tomorrow? I'm so excited for tomorrow. Mm. I can't wait to week. phone it in on Friday. <laughs> I know, and you know That's what? That's what I'm thinking. We all can't wait, so let's just it's bring on so tomorrow. Great. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, you can tell. We didn't prepare anything for this we're podcast close, intro. <laughs> let me think. We're close to the weekend. Anybody have any big plans for the weekend? This weekend. It's a big weekend. I got more garage uh, sale stuff to get ready for. Oh, yeah. Because the garage sale is the week after. Yeah. So I'm just going to do oh, that. Oh, you got to prepare weeks in advance for, I for do. a garage sale. I do. I got a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's that's going to be tough. I've got something almost as fun. I'll probably have to go pick up my mom from the airport. Oh, well, what a good time. Aren't you good to do that? Yeah. Real nice of you. You're not so rude to where you're like, here, have you downloaded a Uber? Or yeah. <laughs> you just want to get a ride yourself. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping I'll get some like lunch out of it or something. Oh, a free way. meal, yeah. a free meal. Good idea. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what I'm gonna. That's for. what you always hope for whenever you hang out with your parents. Oh, Anytime right. you're, you're with right. them, you're like, hopefully I can get a free meal out of this. Yeah, it, some people don't know that well enough. Like they don't want to spend any time with their parents. Uh-huh. It's like you're missing out, man. If they're going to the grocery store, you get oh, up yeah. and you go to the grocery store mm-hmm. with them. Or if they're gonna go eat, you go eat with them and uh, you win. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, and. Uh, whether they cook for you or buy they you treat something. You. And, yeah, they, yeah. They, your parents should do that for you. <laughs> yeah. For me, for the weekend, I've got two things I'm going to do, right? Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clean out the hot tub, nice. open it back up, get the All party right. going again. It's almost summertime. Yeah. People have been calling for it. The ladies, they've been in my ear. Mm-hmm. We need the hot tub back. I've been also saying that. I know. Hudson was one of the <laughs> yeah. ladies I was counting. <laughs> so he's one of the two. Nikki was the other one. Um, <laughs> but so we're going to try to clean out the hot tub because it's warm out now and we just uh, mowed the backyard, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. And so now the backyard's getting cleaned back up again. We're going to clean out the hot tub, get that going. And then the other thing is I might have a date on Saturday. Oh, <gasps> really? Really? If I decide to go. If you do. Mm. But. How long do you, well, like, I mean, okay, it's, if you have a date on Saturday, it's Thursday. Shouldn't you already have yeah, that Yeah, haven't planned? you decided? Well, we planned it uh, yesterday. Oh, I uh, said maybe we'll do something on Saturday if I feel like it. Oh, that's worse. Oh, don't be one and of those. And then she said, I agree, if I feel like it on Saturday, we could do something. And she threw what? out golf. Oh. Whoa. Which is a big, that's, she said like, not like actual golf. Yeah. She was like, Mini do you, golf? She said, do you golf? Yeah, like top golf. And yeah, like kind of like going to the driving range or top golf or something mm-hmm. like that. But she texted me, do you golf? And I was like, I mean, I do golf, but like, I'm not good at it. <laughs> I'm but like, that'd be I'm fun. an amateur you, golfer. And she met- said she's also not good at it. Mm. Um, but I don't know yet again because we haven't, this would be our first date. Yeah. And that seems like. Is this, is this like a, a bumble or something? Yeah, this is so a, somebody you've never met. This is a hinge person, yeah. Uh, hinge. Can I can I tell you something though? You know how she said that yeah, maybe on Saturday. Mm-hmm. That's not at all what she wanted. She wanted yes. Yes, like a hard yes. Yeah, it's a hard yes, but because if you were giving off that vibe of like, yeah, let's maybe do something Saturday. Yeah, like maybe. That's the worst because you want someone like all most girls, I shouldn't say all, but you want them to take the lead mm-hmm. and be excited and not just like, yeah, maybe if I feel like it. That sounds awful Well, to I don't, uh, for me on Saturday, because she threw out golf first. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, yeah, for sure, if we feel like it. because no, they're right there. <laughs> because, <Yeah>. listen, because <laughs> Nikki, you're, you're a true proponent of this. If on Saturday, if right now I was like, let's golf on Saturday, and yeah. you were like, yeah, I'm all in. You know you wake up Saturday morning and be like, yeah, I don't want to get But that's once you've been dating for a really True. long time and you're comfortable enough to be like, yeah, I don't want to do anything right now. And it's not so weird. But you are putting off a vibe of not wanting to commit to something. And then that doesn't seem like you're excited. See, but I said, I said if we, if we feel like it. But then I threw and I said, or if on Saturday I'm feeling kind of lazy... We could just do like a brunch. Okay. A little more low-key. I gave right. another I gave an alternative just in case because I could see myself waking up on Saturday and being like, No way I'm going outside today. <laughs> We're not There's going to There's not a chance. But we'll see if it well, uh this is the And Yeah. He can't seem too eager, Nikki. No, yes, you can. No, I'm not, you I can't. I can't be kissing her feet. You're right, Hudson. That's, that's smart. Yeah, you can't. Just say he, that. Kissing I can't her be feet. Kissing yes, her feet. you can't. He, <laughs> Cause he can't be too eager. Exactly. This if is, she's the one that's more excited, that's good <laughs> that's for the good. relationship. No, that's, it's not. Yes, that's I the right way to put I can't be like a simp off the rip. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Hudson knows about being a simp off the rip. It didn't work, all right? Yep. <laughs>
been you gotta there. play hard to there. get. You gotta oh, play hard God. to get. Just like they do. So no, uh, we'll wh- see. Why don't we just leave the podcast intro at this? Because mm-hmm. I just want that to be the lasting memory before we start the show for the podcast. And the best okay. thing too is like she sees in my profile. It says like radio personality, and which obviously is so lame. But hers <laughs> says. Bachelor's in neuroscience. Ah, <laughs> she's real. I'm she's like, she has a real, real job and everything. What does she think I'm doing every day? <laughs> neuroscience and a golfer. I know, right? <laughs> you got to play this right. She actually I gotta be sounds cool. like quite a catch then. I know, she does. right? I or she's going to be super weird. <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> I think the chances are that she's going to be wonderful well, and that you're going to be the weird one. That's I'm probably, really, that's more accurate. You're right. I can't believe I'm saying this, but now I'm looking forward to Monday. I know you will find out. <laughs> yeah. I know how it went. Well, uh, before, like, we're talking like it's Friday already. Yeah. It's it's just Thursday. Enjoy the podcast today. Uh, we did do a Riot food fight, so hop over to the video before if you join us at Radio U Riot. On our Facebook or our YouTube channel, we try the Jack Link's uh, Doritos collab for the beef jerky, the Doritos ones. So we'll try those two flavors. All right. That'll do it. Okay. See you guys. This is what happens when we don't prepare. It went well. It's great. Have a good day. The podcast. Your For You page would be a lot more fun if it had Hudson, Nikki, and Isaiah. Follow at Radio U Official on TikTok. The Riot. Radio U. Nikki? Yeah? Did you see the Black Mirror trailer that came out yesterday? I did not. You haven't seen it? No, I didn't see it trending, and I didn't watch... I think I've only watched a couple episodes of Black Mirror. You've only seen a bit, huh? Yeah, not too much. Is it? Uh, did you stop because it's upsetting, or you just didn't like it? Uh, Maybe half and half. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was spectacularly done, Yeah, but it's a lot for your brain to process, and sometimes uh, I prefer a lighter fare. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you, with people getting their heads, like, stabbed a million times, like John Wick or something like that. Okay, that's Lighter action. Fair. That's yeah. action adventure. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, some of this comes down to action. Uh, I'll tell you, if you watch the trailer, what it really conveys to you for Black Mirror, the new season comes out in June on Netflix, and the trailer really is just there to tell you who some of the guest stars are in it because it's a, you know, it's an anthology. It's all, it's a different cast every episode, but I can tell you that for this season, uh, I think Aaron Paul is the biggest name in it, of course, from uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah. He'll be there. Also, Zazie Beetz from Deadpool and uh, Atlanta and Joker. Salma Hayek, of course, big name. Ben Barnes, Prince Caspian. Oh, the one guy. Yeah. Shadow and Bones. Shadow and Bones. I know. I looked him up. Uh, He's the Darkling. Yes, he is. What the heck? You know what? We'll save that for another That's, day. I, if you're not you into it, that. you're not into it. But yeah. I won't watch this. The Darkling. <laughs> maybe Who came we, up with that? Maybe most people will just watch him. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's right. what They'll they're hoping on. Episode. But uh, <laughs> no, it, it it doesn't obviously give away too much about what actually takes place in the show. But uh, Black Mirror season six, it just lets you know it's coming. Let you know there's some moderately big names that are going to be involved. And Black Mirror is such a it's a tough show because. Every because it is a, an anthology and every episode stands on its own. Mm-hmm. Some of them are amazing. Some of them are just boring. Yeah, and you can't hit a home run every you episode. Can. They can't all be zingers. And the ones that are amazing, a lot of times, are so upsetting. They're so bothersome <laughs> that even if you're like, "Well, I that was a wild roller coaster ride of an episode," you still wind up being like depressed. And upset by the end of the episode. So, so. now that you've really explained, because this is the sixth season, mm-hmm. uh, you know, again, I've only watched a couple episodes. You're really selling it, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> I would uh, maybe recommend not watching every single one at this but point. But how do you know until you've watched uh, it? That's true, because I think there's also a lot of, uh, there's a, a wide range of opinions on which episodes are good and which ones aren't. One of the top episodes that people like and one of the less upsetting ones it's called San Junipero, although I watched that one, and it, everybody loved it when it came out, and I was like, this is boring, yeah, and I don't it. care. So uh, it's really, uh, you know, it's taster's choice kind of thing. So that comes in June. Netflix has announced the details for Black Mirror, if you're into it, uh, for the sixth season. Yeah, so that's that's one thing out there, at least our Netflix subscription for me. <laughs> You've got something. Yeah, something <laughs> to look forward to. Tell me how it is. It's, uh, <laughs> we'll report back. Hey, they're already eating anyways. Might as well do it on the show. The Riot with Nikki and Hudson. Radio U. I got to direct your attention to the state of Michigan where a seventh grade boy is being uh, hailed as a hero uh, for 
an incident where he was riding the school bus, mm-hmm. a bunch of you know, a bunch of students on the school bus, and the bus driver lost consciousness. Oh gosh! With yeah, the, the kids on the bus. Yeah, a bunch of kids on the bus. Bus drivers driving. All of a sudden, bus driver falls unconscious, and so this could be a bus careening out of control. But I've got one child here who was quick thinking, sprung into action. They actually don't give his name. Maybe it's because it's a kid. Probably because he's in seventh grade. Yeah, but they show uh, his picture. Yeah, we got a picture, but we don't have the actual child. But he, uh, we don't know his name. But he springs into action and jumps into the driver's seat and brings the bus to a stop, saving presumably everybody on board plus whoever they could have crashed into. And so everybody very proud Good for of him. this seventh grade student. His first name was Dylan. D- oh, that's right. We got Dylan here. So Dylan saves the day by bringing the school bus to a stop, which one, we bring vehicles to stops all the time. It's not heroic when we do it. But when you <laughs> when think he about it, does. when you think about it, we're also saving the day. Every sure. time you step on the brakes of your vehicle, you're saving the day. Unless you're doing it when you're not supposed to, then you're making issues. But Nikki... This is a seventh grade student. He's already done something heroic. What's yeah. the most heroic thing you've done? Uh, saving anybody? Yeah. Mm, let me, that's going to take a while. <laughs> it's either I don't remember it or I haven't done anything. Mm, yeah. You know what? I'm sure that's what it is. You do so many heroic things. You don't even keep track of them all. Don't even point. notice it. But for him, the school district is very proud. And now that the story's gotten out of there, um, it's picking up steam. Mm-hmm. So they're going to hold a press conference, it looks like, today to share more details of the incident and to be able to honor him. It's so crazy that he's in seventh grade. He did something so simple. He stopped a bus. Yeah. Not by like running out in the street and with super strength. He stopped a bus just the normal, ordinary way. You stop a bus when you're driving it. And that's more heroic than anything Nikki or I have ever done. And we're not sad about that because for him, he did a good job. Is, he yeah. deserves his moment. I think in seventh grade, I wonder if I would have been paying attention enough to react and know that that's how no, you stop a no, bus. No chance. You were Probably on your not. Fo- you would be on your phone. I'd be in the back. Actually, I was always in yep, the back. You're in the back. <laughs> Way back. The, car, the, the bus would have been crashed long before Four. you ever got anywhere near the front. You really need to pay attention You nowadays. had your AirPods in and you just would have been, you would have been done for. <laughs> Actually, maybe my mom would have been driving me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I wouldn't have even made it to the bus. And I'd if your mom so was driving you, you still wouldn't have been, even though you're in the passenger seat, you wouldn't have caught it. Well, good for him. Yeah. Again, the school district is doing a press conference today but he saved everybody you know what i think he's got a bright future ahead of him he does I think he could be a bus driver one day he could. <laughs> <laughs> he'll remember he'll the have moment that job he knew. whenever he wants it <laughs> the riot with hudson and nikki on radio U. i feel like i've seen it when it comes to dating trends i've seen them all i've seen them come and go and this one, though, this is a new one. This is a new term, anyways. I don't think this is, I don't know if this is a new thing to do. You heard of being zombied? Zombied and dating? Yeah. What is that? Well, you know what ghosting is. Is that where you just die a little bit, you know, <laughs> every day? Slowly. Slowly. It's a slow death. No, no. But never truly die. No, yeah, you're I mean, always kind of there. Only able to be killed by a strike to the brain. Sure. Uh, this is zombied is like ghosting, except. You die, you ghost, you disappear, but then you come back from the dead sometime later, <laughs> I love reappear. It. So when the person comes back in your life and wants to date again, but then ghosts you again, is it probably back and forth? Yeah. That's pretty great. Much. Yeah, they just, uh, they, they reappear. Uh, I have one woman who says here, this is this is lady saying that guys do this, basically. And a woman would not be guilty of zombieing, I don't think. According to TikTok, but a man. I just had a girl do this like two weeks ago. You so did. girls can do it. To, yes, they can. No, they don't. What no, do you mean? Girls, 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 go, do, girls, girls would never ghost. That. No. No, ghosting, yes. But zombieing, no. Well, I guess that uh, happens because for me. A lot of times, you know, the girl is just like, fine, we're over it. Uh-huh. We've moved on. And then it just seems like it's the bad boy that's always like, wait, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm well, leaving. girls do it too. So. <laughs> well, just happens. Here's the thing you have to remember about girls they have other options, mm. and guys don't. <laughs>
I wouldn't say that. <laughs> so zombied is a new term that they're saying is maybe even worse than ghosting. Because ghosting you can you can at least heal from and, and move past, but mm. not if they keep popping back up. This, do you know this to be true, Nikki? One woman says, uh, have you never, ever noticed that all like the zombies will all reemerge at the same time? Usually it's seasonal, too. Yeah, it'll be like four different guys pop up. All at once that you haven't talked to for a while. Yep. Uh, why is that? I, I told well, you. We're the guys. So. I told you it's seasonal. I think it's like spring. Um, well, you're maybe you don't have someone right now, uh-huh. so you go back and look at who your options were <laughs> yeah. before. Before, and you ghosted them, and you're like, well, I can get, probably go back and, yeah. and see that person before the summertime. All that stuff. I think it's all about timing too. Usually, what happens is like. You'll be like on your dating apps or whatever, and you'll have like three people that you really like match with you all the same day. You have a Mount Rushmore. And then you have all these (laughs) options, right? You have like three different people that you're texting or whatever, and like, oh, I really like all three of these people, whatever. And then you end up ghosting one of them because you're hanging out with one of the other ones, right? You get ghosted by one of the other. And then three way. And then like two months later, you and that person stop hanging out or stop talking or whatever your situation is. And then you're like, dang, that girl was kind of cool. Maybe I should text her because yeah. clearly you made the wrong pick. So then you circle back and you say, hey, how you been? And then they usually don't respond. So I, why is I think it? zombie, though, is more like if you were seriously dating yeah, and maybe. they just keep coming back. I don't know. It's all, it always does seem so sinister. Sometimes it's real innocent, like Isaiah just or said. Or like, I'll give you an example. The one girl that just hit me up like two weeks ago. Yeah. The reason that she circled back is because when we first started talking, she had just gotten out of a relationship, right? Uh. And we were kind of hanging out. And I could tell it was like a little bit too much for her, mm, right? Too and soon. Then, and then she circled back like two weeks ago, which I didn't, I didn't really entertain too much. But... <laughs> I, she took her back like two weeks ago, and it was probably because now she's like, okay, she feels a little she's more comfortable ready, ready uh-huh. today, yeah. right? And so I think it all depends on the on the time and circumstance, but some people do it just because they're they're bad. Some yeah. people are serial <laughs> zombiers, yes. and some people are just innocent zombiers. It happens from time to time. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean you have ill intent. Yeah. If you don't, um, if you could possibly maybe not do it to someone. I mean, avoid it. It's hard. Yeah. Just avoid the initial ghost, and then you can circle back, and it'll be better. I also <laughs> want to come back to my new dating term of being rush mored. I where, love that. <laughs> That's a good one. You're, you're That's one of, fantastic. Yeah, I kind of love that. You're, you're one of the three. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're one of the options. You may be a good choice, too, but there's two other ones, so it makes it more difficult. You're up there, and you're a mountain to climb. <laughs> You're amazing and spectacular, mm-hmm. but it was just the wrong. But there's also three others that are also choice. amazing. So it's a tough, tough call. <laughs> Deep out Brindle. We interviewed these guys last week. The interview's up at RadioU.com. Hudson and Isaiah seem like they know a lot about sports, yet somehow it's Nikki that always gets it right. The Riot Radio U. Tough night in the NBA last night. Nikki, did you watch any of the playoffs? There's four games going on. I did not, but I remember yesterday you said there was some really good games. There was. It was a great night of options for games to watch. Uh, now four two, seems like a lot. Mm-hmm. It is, it a, is lot. a lot. Well, there won't. I doubt there will be four in the same night again because last night, although the Grizzlies extended their series against the Lakers, they got a win, and the Warriors and Kings was a great game, but the Warriors wound up winning. That series continues on. Two teams got eliminated last night. Uh oh. One was the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah. Uh, who were the, co- I mean, the favorites in the East for sure going into the playoffs. They have Giannis, uh, two time MVP. The one seed. The one seed. Uh, they've won the championship before, but man, massive choke job against the Heat last night. Oh, so they lost, so they're out? They are done. Uh, and if they, man, if they didn't have that title from a couple of years back, can you imagine? They're already getting just roasted today. It'd be even worse. I mean, Giannis would be wouldn't be able to show his face Aww, anywhere. Is that bad? It was bad. It was Aww. real bad. They they hit like two field goals in the last eleven minutes of play. Giannis, I don't hate you. Because <laughs> <laughs> like for what it for what it says here, I mean, yeah. at least you guys sh- kind of showed up, and it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> at least it kind of showed up. What do you do? You always say uh, maybe next year. That's maybe fine. next yeah, year. You yeah, you have a great, better season next I year. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be tough to recover. But they weren't the only ones that lost last night and got eliminated. Also. In I, I guess less embarrassing fashion, Isaiah's Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, they're out. 
Yeah. Sadness. Oh, now that's come four on. to one mm-hmm. against the Knicks. Are you joking me? <laughs> yeah. They beat us in five games. We played terrible. The series. It was like the worst basketball we played the entire season. It was so terrible. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know. Things are gonna change going into next season. I mean, people are gonna get moved. Just if we had. Uh, Played a little bit better. If we had won, we should have won the series. Yeah. It's like coming into it. We were planning on winning the series. And now that we have got knocked out, JB Bickerstaff, our coach, under big time question, under big time heat for losing in five games, mm-hmm. and some other players definitely in contention of being traded away. It feels yeah. like every time you pick a team from Cleveland uh, for anything, <laughs> that they do okay, but they can never just be great. They can never be, no, they can yeah. never make me truly yeah. happy. Aww. That's a Cleveland Just good curse. enough, but never uh, never good enough to actually do anything. Okay, yeah. well, so, keep choosing them. No. Yeah. I know. <laughs> do, you, do you have another team then in mind that you're going to cheer for now that Cleveland's out? See, for me now, it's just like, meh. Yeah. So, that, over. so we can stop talking about it. We can. We could. Okay, got it. Yeah. 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 For me, playoffs. it's over now. The uh-huh. Cavs are not down. It's Guardian season now. <laughs> Whatever. Actually, I'll tell you what. I want LeBron to win. Okay. You That's what I want Lakers? to win. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Hopefully LeBron wins now. That's all, right. all I got. I, I just cheer for teams to lose. So I just wait till we're closer to actually knowing, and then I'll, I'll choose at the end. <laughs> and then when there's a couple teams left, yeah. there's too many choices right yeah. now. Yeah. Too That's much disappointment. Like, you don't do choose this early. I'm You'll be like me. To. I can't. <laughs> Find more Riot content online. Riot.radiou.com. You know, we're just uh, probably about 10 minutes away here from having the new Doritos Jack Links collab. They've made Doritos flavored beef jerky, and we're trying that on the show. And you can also watch it on the Radio You Riot Facebook page and YouTube channel. And there's two flavors, so we'll try both. And now imagine this for a nightmare scenario you're on a plane. And the bathrooms are out of order. You just could have stopped it at a plane. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I was plane. <laughs> what a nightmare. But, but yeah, if you even try to use the bathroom. But how could you make it worse? You're on a plane and the bathrooms are out of order. Both, both bathrooms. There's multiple bathrooms. You can't use either of them. Did it happen in flight? Because otherwise I don't think yeah. they can take off that way. They yeah, have that's to what land. I was gonna say. There's yeah. no way you left the airport and it was just broken. No, yeah, that would be that would be a crazy move. But no, in this case, this is something that really happened. Uh it was a flight from Prague in the Czech Republic to JFK airport in New York. And it was Delta? It was a Delta flight. Uh mid flight the First, one of the bathrooms went out of order, then the other, and so that's bad enough. But then the autopilot goes out of order. Of the plane? Of the plane. Or the autopilot of the bathrooms. The auto, yeah, I don't even know what that would mean. Okay, so I, like, mean, I guess I usually am on autopilot when I go to the bathroom. Well, I mean, generally. I think we all know, like, they, the pilots put the plane up in the air, and then for a while it, it flies on autopilot. Yeah. And they're just there. Yeah, I, mean, I think any of us could be a pilot. During that middle part. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, so the autopilot goes out, and on top of that, the roll control. You know what that is? Um, the roll control? Yeah. Let me guess. Let me guess. Because I know what like rolling a plane is. Yeah. That's like when you're when you spin it. Yeah. You know. And so maybe it uh, is the sideways movement. You have to like handle that on your. To yeah. stop making the plane the not roll. roll. Roll control keeps the plane from drifting or you know like mm. kind of tipping one way or the other. I was so right. the <laughs> I was plane was uh, listing lazily to the right. Uh, in addition to not having autopilot and not having bathrooms. And, so uh, you're saying the pilots had to pilot. They, <laughs> they actually had to do their did. job. Well, yeah. I'm not going to the bathroom. So uh, now this is something that happened. This is actually a flight, and I don't know how we didn't hear about this, because I guess because they had to investigate and figure out why all this stuff happened. But this happened last July. And they're now investigating? They've now completed the investigation and found that, well, this isn't necessarily a surprise, but the all of the stuff is connected. The bathroom, the issues in the bathroom were causing the issues with the autopilot and the roll control. So the what was happening was there was wastewater leaking from the bathrooms and then freezing, and so that was causing the other issues with the autopilot stuff. So <laughs> the bathrooms leaking there, the nasty 
used water. Oh, that must have been an mm, awful bringing flight. bringing down the whole plane, yeah. They say everything broke and they couldn't just put it back together again. So they lowered the plane, like where it was flying, the feet, mm-hmm. to 9,000. So the ice where um, it had frozen could melt back into water, which just leaked more. And then they had to land at JFK. Yeah, what a what a nightmare. I mean, it makes sense. You but you get urine in the wrong places. Whoa. It's going to mess things up. Your bed, the floor, an engine. If urine's in the wrong spot, it's going to end up costing Even if it's in a bottle? Even in a bottle. Yeah, even in a bottle. It's havoc. gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you and cause havoc. Well, at that point I'd be asking Delta for some of the money back or mm-hmm. a new flight, just something to compensate. I mean, they that... flew you all the way from Prague to New York. Yeah. Yeah. I had to hold it. A um, traumatic experience. <laughs> Imagine having to hold it for that long if you really had to go. It would be terrible. And we talked last week about the uh the one flight where the geese got into the engine and yeah. took out one of the engines. I, I watched a clip of the inside when they were trying to land. Yeah. It was actually so traumatic that I feel like this was probably way more traumatic too than yeah. we even realized because we're just, you know, not in the plane dealing with it. Yeah. But if you were in a plane for such a long flight and, and things are leaking, it's drifting, uh, <laughs> like it's a lot. Think about, people don't like kids on planes in the first place. Think about the kids on the plane that has no bathroom. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You're just peeing on the floor. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's right. They're making a bathroom. It's fine. <laughs> We're not sure who behaves worse. The riot or their dogs. I don't even know how to behave like a real human being. The riot. Radio U. It's time for a riot food fight. It is food fight time on the riot. And I got to say, I'm pretty chuffed about this one. We've got Doritos new collab with Jack Lynx where... Hopefully one day they'll do beef jerky flavored Doritos. But in the meantime, we have Doritos flavored beef jerky that we're going to try. That's it. There's two. There's a flaming hot flavored and a spicy sweet chili. And I think we've been vocal before that we enjoy the spicy sweet chili Dorito. They are my favorite Dorito for sure. So the question is, how do we think the beef jerky version is? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, they smell aggressive. They do. They definitely have quite the scent They're to them. But that's how beef jerky is, though. No, it's always like, an aggressive scent. I think even more aggressive. And they're tiny bags, <laughs> like very tiny bags. You want and me to... they are they're very expensive. I believe they were nearly eight dollars a bag. That's ex- yeah, again, that's, that's how beef jerky is though. It it's is. just so expensive for so little. Yeah, which it sucks because beef jerky is so good. I know, and that maybe they assume you couldn't possibly eat this much, but mm-hmm. I mean it is beef jerky and you could. So do you want to try the uh, spicy sweet chili first? Sure. Is that the big one? That's the big the one big that's kind of like folded over. Uh-huh. All right. And do we like Jack Link's yeah. jerky? It's a good one. I don't know if I have strong enough opinions on different beef jerky brands. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is the Dorito spicy sweet chili collab that they're doing with Jack Link's. Mm, good. It's softer I mean, it than I thought good. it would be because mm-hmm. it really looks uh, <laughs> leathery <laughs> in the it's action like- bag. Just so beef jerky. Yeah. Like, you could have handed me that and just said, this is beef jerky, and I would have never been like, yeah. Doritos! I don't I even really... think we would ever combine that this was the spicy, you know, sweet chili flavor. It no. didn't taste at all It just like tastes it. like normal beef jerky. It's, um, like, I guess if you're comparing it to a standard beef jerky flavor. It's kind of teri- in the teriyaki yeah. lane. Mm-hmm. Um, but... I mean, I mean, it's definitely good. It's good. I enjoy it. I love it. Just could, like I do all beef jerky. If you could find something less expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be right. totally worth it. Uh-huh. All right. The other one, Flaming Hot, uh, Jack Link's Doritos. Flamin' Hot. Flamin' Hot. Mm-hmm. Want to try that one? I'm, I'm ready. That's the little piece. I figured we might not want as much of the Flamin' Hot one. In case it's too Flamin' Hot. Well, that one's harder. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What even is flaming hot? I just it spice. ain't this. Well, it's it smells hotter, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it tastes hot. No, there is a little it, heat it to it. It hits you. It doesn't all. It's it's late. You got to keep chewing. Is it? I mean, I don't have flaming hot Doritos too often. So, do you feel like if you do have it, does that taste like it? It's like a little tingle on the tongue. Yeah, yeah. it builds. It's a nice you know, heat, it's, but it's, it's not anything too much. No, it's not overwhelming. Um... Again, it just, I mean, it just tastes like beef jerky and then it's hot. Mm-hmm. And there is spicy beef jerky. So 
Um, I don't know. Like, the, yeah, there's definitely nothing that smacks you in the face about this. It says Doritos. Doritos. Yeah, like that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it's still a tasty beef jerky. I mean, I wish it almost had like a fine layer of dust on it. Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna, like that's Doritos what I was thinking. That would be really, really good. Just some uh, different crunchy texture. Like mm-hmm. when your fingers are done with it, you get that. Yeah, little, yeah. that'd be good. The little Dorito they paste on there. M- should have made it messier. Yeah, well, they should have. Jack Links, it feels like, though they taste good, mm-hmm. it feels like this was a little bit lazy of yeah. a collab <laughs> that we could have done a little bit more with the Doritos stuff. Yeah, but. and like if you're going to do a flaming Hot, it's got to be hot. You and this more. is not nearly hot enough. Yeah. It's, it's hot, it's just not flaming. Hot. No, like it's it's not even, like I, I have water next to me and I haven't even thought about taking a drink of it yet hot. Oh, next time what you should have done is got the actual Dorito flavors too. We could have. Mm, but again, we will not say no to beef jerky. Love yeah. beef jerky. No, this is still good. If this was the beef jerky on discount, mm-hmm. then I'd get it. But otherwise, I'm just going to go with whatever's cheapest because it all is usually good. Well, let's combine the flavors and just overall the Doritos, Jack mm. Link's beef jerky flavor out of uh, five beef jerkies. What do you get? I'm still going four. Four? Because right. it's still tasty. Still I would good? if it's the right price. I'd, I'd buy it if I'm in the market for beef jerky, but it's uh, but it loses marks because there's nothing Doritos about it. If they added Dorito dust and it was on sale, mm-hmm. I'd also give it a what four. What if you got like a party mix and it was half beef, like, you know, like <laughs> half beef jerky, yeah. half chips? That'd uh-huh. be amazing. That would be I better. Know. It would be yes. great. Because then it would taste more like it. That's uh-huh. a fantastic idea. What's your rating? Probably like a three, just because it's just average beef jerky. Mm-hmm. Like it's not like it's not anything special. Like I don't know. It just tastes like normal beef jerky. And it's super expensive. So All negates right. it. But still a good food fight, though. Good food fight. I want to eat more of it. Well, you can. You you got it. So. That's my breakfast right here. <laughs> I'm bringing it over to you. <laughs> Disinformation. Mispronunciations. Bad impressions. That's Hudson. This is The Riot on Radio U. That's a segment we like to call You Be the Judge. In this case, I have a man that is stepping into the court suing a psychic. Mm-hmm. He's suing the psychic for emotional distress. He's suing for $25,000. Here's the scenario. Apparently, this man paid a psychic, Sophia Adams, to remove a curse that he believes was placed on him by his ex-girlfriend who supposedly hired a witch to place <laughs> To place a curse on him. And you think your relationship's weird. <laughs> and so he's now suing. Now, to be fair, this is a unique case of you be the judge because the judge has already judged twice <laughs> and said <laughs> they've thrown it out. So this is now the third time this guy is suing the psychic trying to get some money out of the situation because, again, he says she was supposed to lift the curse on him, and it hasn't worked. So I'm sorry, just so I can get all these yeah. important details correct. Uh-huh. The He's suing the psychic yep. for allegedly not removing the curse that a girlfriend put on him, mm-hmm. an ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But the ex- Who hired a witch. Okay, so allegedly <laughs> the witch puts the curse on, not the psychic. Yeah, so it's that's not, right. Okay, so... The, oh, this gets juicy. <laughs> We're talking crystals, too. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, You're never- telling me this dude sold him a $5,100 crystal to remove the curse. The psychic oh. did. Uh-huh. And he said that that crystal did not work. He said that he gave the psychic $1,000 as an initial deposit towards this $5,100 crystal to remove <laughs> the bad luck. And so that's why he's going after uh, and saying she defrauded him out of the $1,000. Uh, apparently, <laughs> the psychic also claimed that she was a PhD. Oh. Can you get a doctorate <laughs> in psychicness? Oh, you can. Well, she said reading tarot cards? She went to special schooling specific for oh. the... PhD. Was, I believe it was special. Oh, yeah. I believe it. Uh, so, are, uh, are we going to make a judgment here? Um. So, three times he's been trying to get money back from the yes. psychic, uh, mostly dealing with getting money back for the crystal that mm-hmm. he was encouraged to buy. Even though the crystal was $5,100 and he's suing for 
twenty-five thousand. At this point, originally yeah. he was just trying to get his thousand dollars back mm-hmm. from his deposit. Twenty-five thousand is what he wants. I think if you're dealing in this world, that it's all fair game for <laughs> fraud on both sides. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so you know, I, I don't know if you have a case. I don't think so. Yeah, I think as well. It's pretty froggy here with the whole. Did he really remove the curse? What was the initial curse? I don't think I have enough information here to really convict this guy of not breaking the curse. And it's true. Maybe the psychic did remove the curse and he still just sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. maybe his life just isn't good. You could have that. I think he is going need... to psychics and dating gals that hire witches to put psych- uh, curses on it. Sounds so. like your decision making may be a little bit off. <laughs> yeah. May- I think you were cursed a long time. <laughs> you might, yeah. Right? You might get yourself into some trouble you don't even know about. Yeah. I almost feel like the article should give us more information on the ex girlfriend and what all went on there. Yeah. Well, I, I can sh- imagine. I think I already can imagine in my mind <laughs> what kind of a woman this is if she placed a curse on She's him. a witchy woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, okay, so um, I think in our, we would be the judge. Mm-hmm. Um, we would probably say like the other two times he went to court <laughs> uh-huh. that we feel like there's really no case here. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean it, we're siding with one side or the other. Uh, it just means it's all really weird. It's crazy. That you can be a psychic and basically that just means you can get away scot-free with anything. Well, it's also crazy to think that a $5,100 crystal will be an investment to help you out with your bad luck. So. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. <laughs> Again, that might be why you're having bad luck. But until be. you're cursed, you don't know the fear of being cursed. <laughs> At first you're like, oh yeah, curse me, whatever. And yeah. then you're like, are things going bad in my life? <laughs> Has my life started to roll off the rails? Was well, it that ex-girlfriend's witch? <laughs> she did say she was going to curse me. <laughs> I there's guess it lot, did work. There's a lot that I think we do we don't get involved in. So this mm. is a very weird thing. Yeah. So I don't know what what it's called when you throw out a case in court. Yeah. You just that's it. It's you thrown throw, out. Yeah. We throw that's it out. That's our judgment. Mm-hmm. It's thrown out. Add a little riot to your Instagram feed. Follow at Radio U Official. The Riot Radio U. Let's see what you think of this promo that a minor league baseball team is doing. You ever heard of the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs? No, the Iron Pigs? One of my all-time favorites. uh, The Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs are kind of awesome, actually. Okay. Uh, Because they do crazy promos like this all the time. I, uh, I mean, they are known for having some wild baseball stadium food and stuff like that. But this this takes the cake here. They are temporarily renaming their team just for one night only. June 2nd. June 2nd is going to be Hoagie Night. Yeah. Oh, oh so instead of like Dime a Dog Night, you get hoagies? They're going to have hoagies. I mean, I think it's, uh, it's Lehigh Valley, you know? It's near, it's like near... Uh, Philadelphia and everything. They got hoagies there. Oh, all the sure. Time. Okay. Uh, Hudson, not everybody knows that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't know why you thought we this did. This is Hoagieville right did, here. Did not know but that. <laughs> they are na- renaming their team the Lehigh Valley Hoagies. And I believe that they are going to be actually wearing like hoagie themed uniforms for the game. The they're shirts de- are great. They're definitely, yeah, selling a bunch of Lehigh Valley hoagie merch. And it actually, a lot of it looks really cool. So a cool promo. That's June second. If you want to go to, if you want to set a date to go to Lehigh Valley for a baseball game. So is it Pennsylvania? Yeah, Pennsylvania Eastern. Oh, PA. I love Pennsylvania, but it's such a tough state to drive through. Yeah. No, thank you. But yeah, if anybody is. goes to see the Lehigh Valley Hoagies <laughs> or the Iron Pigs, <laughs> if, you could, if you could get the Hoagie shirt for me, I'd really like one. <laughs> now, this is uh, it. Raises an in- interesting question, though. If your favorite team was going to rename themselves after a food for one night only. Mm-hmm. What food should that be? Mm, good question. Are we because, just baseball or any team? Any team? Baseball is definitely the sport they would do it. Though. Yeah, I think it's got to be something, if you're renaming it, obviously they're serving it that night, so it's got to be ballpark friendly. Yeah. You know, like, I, my favorite food is lasagna, but we're not doing a lasagna no. night. because <laughs> that's Cleveland like, lasagna. That's just not ballpark friendly. It also wouldn't fit Cleveland at exactly. all. Exactly. And you want something, that, like, if they're going to do merch, too, you want it to be, like, applicable on merch. Mm-hmm. Yet again, lasagna, not a good merch deal. But I'm thinking maybe, like, what about, like, nuggets? They do, like, a nugget night. I'm talking about chicken nuggets. That could like work. Like, the Cleveland nuggets. I know there's the Denver nuggets. Yeah. Don't play with me here. But What about if, the Cleveland chicken fingers? Oh, the chicken fingers. <laughs> Ooh, the Cleveland tenders. <laughs> oh, the Cleveland Cleveland tenders. Oh, there it is. Now we're talking. What about another one I thought of? What about like the Cleveland buckets? 
and they do buckets of fried chicken. Ooh. And then just has like shirts and just a huge bucket with a bunch of fried That'd chicken. That'd be so perfect out. for the basketball team. Oh, too. It'd be so, oh that's that's a <gasps> yes. good idea. Better. We could oh use gosh. some good promo uh-huh. right about now. That's we need right. something that's to turn it around. And I could totally see the mascot being a guy in like some sort of chicken bucket. Yeah, it's a chicken yeah. bucket. This oh. is great. I, I love the idea. I mean, if you're doing, are they minor league then? Or, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Like, that's a really fun sort of minor league baseball team sort of thing to do. Yeah, that's the kind of fun thing you can do in minor league sports when you got a million games. <laughs> There's no consequences. Yeah, nobody yeah. really cares. The players, uh, most of them have, you know, they're not making a ton of money, but they're doing it for fun kind of thing. So, yeah. It's you a, got it's one, cool Hudson? Promo. If you're going to um, do one. The first thing that came to mind was like bacon cheese fries. Ooh. But that's a long name, so maybe maybe like waffle fries and it'd be waffle like, fries. Yeah, you could be like the the Green Bay waffles. The Green Bay waffles. Yeah, maybe like a waffle night. That'd be pretty good yeah. too. A waffle Ooh. on a stick. On a stick. It's got to be on a and, stick. And uh, you could do chicken and waffles. You could just yeah, you just do waffles, and then every, all the food in the the stadium is waffle themed. Oh, Hang I on. love it. Yeah. Every minor league team is writing all. Oh, those yes, guys. waffle You're fries, chicken ideas. and waffles. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Just waffles. Then you could have the waffle race where the oh yes, know, yes. they run yes. along the field. Dang. <laughs> Hudson, Nikki, The Riot, on Radio U. A question here. If your team was going to be named after a food for one night only, your favorite team in whatever sport, and they did branded merch, ser- served the special food for the game, what food would you want it to be? This is coming from Lehigh Valley. They're normally the Iron Pigs, and they're becoming the Lehigh Valley Hoagies. They're a <laughs> minor league baseball team, and I think that's fantastic. And the Hoagie, obviously, it fits the area because that's, uh, you know, eastern Pennsylvania. Hoagies are huge. That's, uh, you know, Wawa, huge there. So it all makes sense. And they got merch to uh, celebrate the day with. It's beautiful. So we've got a few texts coming in of people with uh, ideas. I like shrew said the Cleveland Cobbs. As in corn on the cob. Yeah. That's a great idea. I said corn on the cob around the ballpark. Uh-huh. <laughs> that fits. I'm with it. Some street corn mm-hmm. would be so tasty. So, so basically, that's a great idea. we're saying please pick a food that's on a stick uh, or can yeah. be pressed yes. on a stick. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. Justin was saying that, you know, in OKC, there's a minor league baseball team. And of course, onion burgers are big. Mm. So some sort of combination of the onion burger and that. The OKC onions. Something. Yeah. There you go. That makes mm-hmm. sense. And then Aaron brought in a good one uh, for another choice, pierogies. Yeah, So that'd be more appropriate, maybe say, for the Cleveland one. Pierogies are so good, too. You so guys good. like pierogies? Yes, I like pierogies. love pierogies in all their different various forms. They come in. Tim, this is another good Ohio one, the Cincinnati Skylines. Oh, yeah, for the mm, chili. Yeah, for like their chili. chili. Although that, that can get messy. I don't know if that's game. quite the ballpark food you want. No, of course you they... can have chili on a stick. What are you yeah, about? easily. <laughs> yeah. I guess you could put it on a hot dog. <gasps> no. Yeah, you yeah. You Suck on it, a chili dog. You put it in a baseball hat, the little one. In a little, the little cup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like like they have a graters or the ice yeah. cream in there. Yeah. No, don't Five you way in a, in, a, in a baseball helmet. We used to get your baseball helmet when you got a Sunday when you were a kid. Yeah. That's a good idea. Gosh, how many lawsuits? I got burned by the chili. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. And no offense, but perhaps we don't like that chili. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, speak for yourself. So that's a great idea. Yeah. Did you have any more? The only other ones I thought of, uh, just some fan favorites. I just thought about my favorite foods. And if I was going to the ballpark, which of my favorite foods I could eat at the ballpark? Yeah. I thought about maybe like the Max, right? Just a whole mac and cheese night. I want mac and cheese mm. bites. Oh. I want mac and cheese. Any kind that, of form of mac and cheese we can have, I want that That'd there. be so easy. Easy too because you can put mac and cheese on basically anything. And oh yeah, it like goes it. with everything. Yeah, deep fried mac deep and cheese fried. bites. Yeah, you can you can make mac and cheese incorporated into everything on the menu. Mac and cheese salad, anything. Mac and cheese salad. Yeah. I think another one I thought of hey, was. Do you feel the room went down when you said? I that? know when you said. Yeah, I, don't yeah, I said. Why. I said deep fried mac and cheese, just regular mac and cheese, and he goes. Or you could go with like a mac salad. You don't yeah, even no, I mean, eat salad. I'm yeah. talking about, yeah, but I would if there was mac and cheese in it. <laughs> yeah, but if you're going to the ballpark, you're getting the mac and cheese bites. Like yes. I want the deep fried mac and cheese. Well, you got to have a healthy option too. Okay, for which the is salad the with mac and cheese bites on it. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd like you to keep the energy up if you don't uh-huh. mind. Yeah, so. the next, when I do the next one, I want you to keep it up. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe the nuts. And I'm not talking about like peanuts. I'm talking about donuts. donuts. I want donuts on a stick. Ooh. I want Krispy Kremes everywhere. Mm-hmm. An easy mascot, too. All the merch should be great. Just a bunch of donuts around. That's an easy one. And once again, you can incorporate that. You do a burger mm-hmm. with donut buns. You do a yeah. salad with donuts. 
Nobody, nobody. Did you hear that? I, said I heard salad. the salad. salad. You, you ruined it again. I'm gonna do one more, uh-huh. and if you ruin it, you're yeah. out. All right. Okay. Last one. I'm just doing on a stick. Yeah. I just want like Tuesdays on a stick. So you just, gonna... just anything that you can put on a stick. It's I want Tuesdays. it on a stick. Like yeah, I want it on a stick. You can do the Cleveland sticks. The Cleveland sticks, yeah. and then it's just a, a, a myriad of a couple of different things on uh-huh. a stick and whatever you want. You guys want. have vision for this. You could this do, is exciting. You yeah, do, exactly. Like, donuts on a stick. Donuts right? on a stick. Like, uh, frozen cheesecake on a stick. Ooh. You could do like kebabs with like peppers and oh, onions and man. mushrooms. What, think wow. about everybody just walking around with their own little customized stick. Yeah. How happy would you be at the ballpark? <laughs> Until the first person stabbed, but it's yeah, I mean, you, you know. <laughs> the legal Ooh. department says no to that. But Corn dogs. Oh, oh corn yeah. dogs. You put that on a stick. There you go. Well, Dee said, what about the Texas peppers? Because that could be Ooh. for, oh. of course, peppers or Dr. Pepper, since you're in Texas. Oh, there you hey, go. Hey, I good. like that. Thank that, you, D. And think of the, like, you could get real creative with logos for that. I like mm. that. Man, this is fun. <laughs> we should, why aren't we like the promotions people for a minor league team? <laughs> we could come up with so much stuff. The words too expensive aren't in Nikki's vocabulary. This is the riot. Radio U. To get the the coveted blue check mark, and I'm not talking about the one on Twitter. Talking about the one on Tinder. The process is about to change. And no, you're not going to have to pay $8. What you are going to have to do is video verify yourself. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, Tinder is rolling out video verification where in the coming months, even those who are already got, who already have the blue check mark, the verified check mark on uh, Tinder. Yeah. If you done like you have to do it what with selfies, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you're gonna have to re-verify yourself here in the next few months using their new video verification technology, where instead of just snapping a few photos, you have to actually take a video, multiple video selfies of yourself, so that Tinder can prove you are who you say you are. So you're real. Yes. Yeah, so oh, is Tinder the real, one you real. got kicked off of? Because of another, uh, they didn't think you were actually Isaiah. Had I done this, <laughs> yeah. would have been I wouldn't have been kicked off so, because I would have been verified. But somebody else got verified of me, I guess, instead of me. They Nobody. did a better job at convincing Tinder that they were you than you did to convincing them that you were real. Off. Did you send a bunch of selfies to someone? I should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should have sent a bunch of selfies to Tinder and be like, no, it's me. Well, like, you it's sometimes me. have to because so one time I got locked out of Facebook. Facebook and you had to send a picture in using their you know protocol mm-hmm. and their steps oh, and really? stuff. Yeah, and they had to verify if it. If someone locks me out of Facebook, they can have it. Yeah, you don't care. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> that would be the freedom I've been more, or hoping for for years. Well, all right. <laughs> yeah, but so wait, when you got kicked off of Tinder, were you you weren't verified at that time? Was not verified. I never mm. took the steps to be verified because I didn't think it was like that important for me to yeah. be verified because I clearly thought like, oh yeah, I'm clearly a real person. But obviously they didn't think so. Not Sometimes clearly enough. It's not enough. Tinder so. didn't think so, I yeah. guess. If you get asked to do a video verification, um, that is now the popular way to move towards mm-hmm. verifying instead of pictures weren't enough. Yeah. <laughs> so now you have to do this. So, so if, you, you're, if you're worried that someone's going to steal your photos and use them, then you should get verified. <laughs> Where and it's apparently, just Tinder taking your yes, videos. Yes. <laughs> apparently you should worry about that, even yeah. if you aren't worried, because it happened to Isaiah. It did. Somebody took my photos. Yeah. And now there's somebody on Tinder. Tinder, so if you match with me on Tinder, it's not it's him. Not it's not me. You think, Just so uh, you know. You think this is a new opportunity for you, though? Maybe they'll let you back in if you can video verify. If I can just, like, video in? I yeah. don't know. They didn't seem very... I tried to email them, and they didn't seem very compelled to give me it back when mm. they said, you were posing as Isaiah Jacob. And I said, no, I wasn't. <laughs> that is me. That is him. Their loss. You won't hear a show like this anywhere else. And that's probably for the best. The worst of the riot. Radio U. Who knew that something as simple as walking your dog could be so dangerous? I have a new study here from Johns Hopkins University in Maryland. They know what they're doing there. That's one of the best, like, medical... Everybody's heard of it. Yeah, we've all, we know about Johns Hopkins. So they've done a, sur- uh, a surgery, a study where they've compiled data on injuries that occur while walking your dog. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot. They found that about 422,000 adults sought treatment in emergency rooms in the United States alone uh, for dog walking related injuries between 
2001 and 2020. Now, they make it a point to say walking a leash dog. So it's not counting like, hey, this unleashed dog came at you and attacked you. Mm -hmm. This is just like you're taking your dog out for a walk. That's the setup. Yeah. They say that most injuries occur due to falling after being pulled, tangled, or tripped by the leash. So the leash is the problem. It's not the the dog. Maybe you should unleash him. Yeah. Let your dog (laughs) run free. Uh, but I mean, that's, uh, I mean, what is that? That's a lot of injuries every single year. I wish I could do the math in my head real quick. 420 uh, divided by 20. So carry the dog. Yeah. What is it like? Why is it so hard? What? What is it like? 20,000 injuries a year or something like that? Uh, they researchers found that an estimated 422,659 adults sought treatment in emergency rooms uh, for leash dependent dog walking injuries. In other words, be careful out there. Yeah, they say that you really should. Yeah, and your yours is even more dangerous. You got oh, three. Oh, I do not walk my dogs. Well, how, how I, are they supposed to get their exercise? I got them a fence, and they go walk <laughs> themselves outside. I do not do that. But they got to you, you think about they all this. They don't need to see anything. In no, fact, I put but, things up on the fence so they can't see. No, they need to smell the smell. No, they have each other. That's it. They, you, you're... This is a real disservice to your dogs right now. They're so annoying. Eric used to every so often, like he'll take, you have to take them one at a time Uh because I have three dogs and you just can't, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And they each have their own little disadvantages. (laughs) Like one pulls so much that no matter what you do, it just sounds like he's dying the whole time. Uh, The other one's scared of everything. The other one's so big that everybody's scared of her. Uh And it's just, it's not fun. You ever thought about hiring somebody to do it? To do it be the dog walker? Yeah. Eh, that's expensive. I'll do it. You want to? Discount. All three of them? If I can walk my dog, I can walk your dogs. But why? Again, they can just go outside. They need exercise. They do. I, I open you, the slider up and they go down steps. Too. You're depriving <laughs> them of uh, of a lot of experiences. And nope. they now lo- they you're lost de- it. you're depriving me of some of your money. Okay. Yeah, you can come pick him up. Yeah, I'll yeah, do it. Yeah, you, you let yourself in my house. I'll be the and go cheapest dog walker you can find. Trust me. You want a quarter of a walk? I, uh, you also do need to sign a waiver in case they injure me because apparently that's very common. My, do- my dogs just can't. And I, I'm sure I'm not the only one in that boat. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, it's not always easy. I feel like I don't walk my dog as much as I should either because she is, she is a brat. <laughs> so. <laughs> And I wasn't I gonna say that. Yeah, no, it's it's true. <laughs> I just don't feel like they listen so well. <laughs> Maybe that's our fault. The only thing Isaiah loves more than the riot is himself. Someone who probably still lives with his mother and hates himself. You're listening to the riot on Radio U. Interesting. Here, I've got a survey that says that 57 percent of people use their phone on the toilet. Oh, well, I mean, you're there. Yeah. (laughs) That's like almost two-thirds of people. That means a third of people don't. No, that just means they don't answer these studies and surveys. They They don't don't admit admit it. it. All right. I'm sure everybody does. Well, there's three of us here. Okay, so Nikki definitely uses her phone on the toilet. Isaiah? I mean, if you're not using your phone, what are you doing? (laughs) You're just staring off into the abyss? Yes. You Focus is what you do. So, yes, he does. Sounds like you have some other problems going on. You need to focus that much on going pee. Well, listen, I have a, obviously 57% of people admit using their phone on the toilet. But, I mean, that's pretty gross, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, no, because just the, I mean, the, the whole bathroom then is gross. Anything, yeah. anything in there, why not at least have your phone? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then, well, okay, think about this. When you go to the bathroom, you I guess you're using your phone, but then what do you do as soon as you're done going to the bathroom? You wash your hands. Wash your hands, right? Wash no, your phone. But listen, you, listen. You don't even do that. Nobody's washing their hands. Stop. <laughs> I, I don't even want to hear that. You then just why do you say think, you do. Why yeah, do you everyone think? just everyone says they do. You don't even use soap. You just do a little rinse a <laughs> if you're doing anything. So all you do is you rinse a your phone. Yeah. yeah. So your phone's fine with some water. I think that... They should have like phone wipes provided in all bathrooms. Okay. I think we just let's just be honest about it. I bet you there's already a product like that. See, but listen, yeah, but how, are con- how are you going to how are you going to convince a company? Oh, I need to wipe my phone when yet again, fifty percent of us aren't even washing our own hands. Like the soap in there isn't Where, even really justified. Where's the data on that? I, I think it's just well known that people aren't washing their hands when they go to the bathroom. No. If you went to a public bathroom, you've seen enough people do the little quick walkout. We've public all seen them do that. Public bathrooms though are different. I mean. 
like if you're just at home and it's your restroom. Mm-hmm. If you're in a public bathroom, I don't usually have my phone out. I'm scared. Like, mm-hmm. what if it falls in there? True. What if it touches the floor? Like, there's a lot. And, and you in just want to get in and out quick. You're being quick. Oh, yeah. You're being yeah. real quick. Absolutely when so. We, when we use the bathroom at work, we're taking our sweet time. Uh, <laughs> I'm just hanging out in there. Uh-huh. There are That's... days when I just turn off the light and I just lay on the floor. <laughs> I just sleep for a little bit. The bathroom at work's just another meeting room. It like, is. It's yeah. fine. So, I spend my time in there. Really, I don't think a lot of us use our phones then in public bathrooms. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Uh, I can't stop looking at my phone for like three minutes, to be honest with you. <laughs> even a, when in a public restroom? Yeah. No, I never even, uh, you know, there used to be a time where I was uncomfortable in public bathrooms, but I've grown as a person and matured, and I feel just fine in there well, I'm not. I hold it till I go home. And in fact, I think the phone <laughs> is a distraction from the uncomfortability I feel when sure, I'm, you when feel I'm in a comfortable, uh, public bathroom. But, well, the scientists say you should stop because, of course, obviously, it's disgusting. Yeah, it it is it. disgusting. I, I, there's no good reason for why we don't wipe our phones down. If we're washing our hands every time and then you just go back to touching your dirty phone that you didn't wash, then what, what do you? why even wash your hands? Yeah, why don't you just uh, leave the restroom, touch your dirty shoes, and then mm. go eat. Just get all the germs. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's exactly what you, we should be doing. Uh, it's a problem. We need a solution. No one's washing their hands. We don't need to wash. <laughs> Just thing because at this you point. don't wash your hands, you can't say nobody. Nope. I, I've heard enough people at radio. You walk right out of that bathroom. No hand washing. You've made it all the way to the end of the worst of the riot. This show only exists because of support from listeners like you. Find out more and help out at radiou.com/donate.